Hey, what is going on everyone? In today's video, I wanna show you the brand new weapons coming to Once Human in the new update dropping on October 17th, The Way of Winter. Now, really quickly, I just wanna thank Starry Studio for giving me early access to this test character on this test server so I could prepare this content for you ahead of time. And also, before we get started, I will be live streaming The Way of Winter on launch day on this channel and my Twitch channel, so be sure to subscribe and follow to get notified for when I go live. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna show you each weapon on the gear workbench so we can go over the weapon features and then I'll show you the weapon on the test dummy and then I'll show you the weapon actually on enemies. So the first weapon here is a shotgun called Pyroclasm Starter, and this is actually a burn shotgun. So taking a look at the weapon features here, you can see shots have an 18% chance to trigger burn. Shots also have a 15% chance to generate a deviant particle that drops on the ground. Once you pick it up, you will enter a charge state and you can get up to four stacks of that. Once you reload this weapon, it will expend that charge state and it will give you a buff called Dragon's Breath. What Dragon's Breath does is that the attacks for that ammunition where you have Dragon's Breath active will deal blaze elemental weapon damage equal to 80% of your attack and your burn damage bonus also applies there. And then each charge stack expended increases the blaze damage by an additional 10%. So this is a very strong burn focused shotgun. And just to show you here, this is a one star blueprint that I have. I have not calibrated it at all. And if we hop into the uh, details here for the weapon, you can see I have no mods on there. I'm using regular copper ammo. And also it comes with this shotgun drum mag attachment that you cannot unattach. So just as an FYI, I am using the base level weapons here. And just to give you a little preview of what this weapon looks like, I think it looks fantastic. I really love the design on this one, um, but just to give you a little preview of exactly what this looks like. Also, I've gone ahead and switched to just some basic rustic gear here, as well as the test subject mask, and I have no mods whatsoever. So we are really just looking at the base values for this shotgun. All right, so let's load an entire clip into the test dummy here and see our total damage. Just trying to aim for the chest mostly. So we have 19,000 total damage there. Then we can pick up these deviant particles. You can see right above my health bar, that's where they stack up. There is a cooldown for them. So make sure you're using them uh, before they run out. Now, once I reload, it will use them. So I'm gonna just shoot over here an entire clip. And then uh, once it reloads, we'll put an entire clip of the buff damage into the test dummy to see our total damage. All right, so it's gonna use those particles right now. Got that buff, I'm gonna aim for the chest and let's see our total damage. All right, so we were at 19,000 and we are ending up now at 26,000. So a decent buff there using those deviant particles with this weapon. But now let's take a look at how it works against actual enemies. All right, so overall, I think it has a pretty good feel to it. I mean, even though I'm just using the base shotgun here, I can really see this being really effective, honestly, if you had the right mods and obviously had the right gear set up. Uh, but overall, I think it was a pretty solid weapon for them to add. And here is the next new weapon. Now this is actually a new category of weapons that they've added. It's in the assault rifle category and it's the M416. So the first one here is the silent anabasis. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, and the weapon features are that the shots have a 10% chance to trigger frost vortex. Hitting a target with frost vortex generates an ice crystal and ice crystals automatically shatter after 15 seconds, dealing frost elemental damage equal to 140% PSI intensity 
intensity to nearby targets, and your Frost Vortex damage bonus also applies. Ice Crystals can also be shattered by shooting them, which increases the damage they deal to 420% PSI intensity. Also, Frost Elemental damage is plus 20%, plus an additional 10% for every Ice Crystal shattered for 15 seconds, and that can stack up to three times. So I have actually used this weapon. I'm a big fan of it, um, and we will take a look at this on the test dummy. But before we do, let's take a look at the other M416s here as well. So we have the Autumn Equinox. This is a Fortress Warfare rifle, so it'll trigger Fortress Warfare after seven hits. In the Fortress Warfare area, you will recover 4% of your max HP per second, and when your HP is above 75%, your weapon damage will get plus 25%. And then we also have the Scorched Earth here. So this has just a 12% chance to burn with a hit, and then your burn damage is plus 10%. So let's take a look at the Silent Anabasis. This is the one we're going to be testing on the test dummy. These other ones are great great as well uh, but honestly i think this is the better of the three and probably the one that you guys are more interested in anyway so let's take a look at this on the test dummy and here's a preview of that new rifle really like the way this one looks kind of reminds me of the way that the uh shotgun looks it kind of has this tree sort of design that's on it but yeah really like the way this one looks as well also, same thing as the first weapon here. Uh, you know, we have no calibration on it. It's one star and also no mods. And we're using just the copper rifle bullets here as well. So let's give this a test on the test dummy here. I will say this gun does have a lot of recoil just as an FYI, but it is a lot of fun to use. So there's that ice crystal it mentioned. You can see it burns through the clip pretty quickly. Uh, there's that ice crystal that's doing damage. We can also shoot it and it will do even more damage there as well. Um, so we got about 16,000 damage. Uh, remember, this is just the base gun here too. Let's do this again. And there we go. We got 17,000 damage, more, some more ice crystals. So you can really build up your damage by shooting those ice crystals or just generating as many of them as you can. But let's take a look at this against some real enemies. All right, let's test this out on some of these silo enemies here. Um, so I really do like the ice crystals. Something that I noticed is that these ice crystals, when they damage enemies, it seems like it, it also has a chance to spawn a second ice crystal. Um, so when they stack on each other, it, it ends up being pretty good. As you can see, that ice crystal there is damaging all those guys without me even needing to be near it, which is really great. Let's see if I can get another one to spawn here. There's another one. They both exploded, and we just killed a good number of guys there, kind of in one go, um, which is pretty great. Let's go kill these guys up here. This gun also just feels really good, similar to the shotgun. I just feel like both these weapons uh, that I've showed so far just feel great. But yeah, uh, let me know. What do you guys think about this uh, new rifle that they've added to the game? And the last legendary weapon that they've added to the game is a new LMG called the Conflicting Memories. This is a shrapnel LMG. So let's take a look at the weapon features here. You can see it says it triggers shrapnel after every 12 hits. For every 50 magazine capacity, parts hit by shrapnel plus one. And for every 15 magazine capacity in excess of 100, shrapnel damage plus 8%. And you also get magazine capacity plus 40. So let's take a look at this on the test dummy. Also, here's a little preview of this weapon here. It actually has the Once Human logo right there, which is kind of cool. I actually really like the way this weapon looks. Um, but yeah, here is the LMG. And of course, same as the others, this is a one-star blueprint. It has not been calibrated at all. And if we take a look at the mods, there's no mod there. And we're just using copper LMG ammo. So let's take a look at this actually on the test dummy. I did miss a few shots there because this one does have some wild recoil to it, but that was 30,000 damage. Let's do a second one here just for good measure. There we go. We got about 33,000 damage total with that entire magazine. But now let's take a look at this on some actual enemies. All right, so let's go test this out against some of these Rosetta enemies here. I'll do a little bit of a reload. I don't think I had a full magazine loaded there. 
we are dealing some shrapnel damage here. Hopefully we can get these guys to group up a little bit. Uh, that would be nice. Just going to do a preemptive reload here and run up and get these snipers. I don't know where that guy was going. He's running away, apparently. He wants nothing to do with me. I don't know where he's going to. Do a little reload there. We got some more enemies up here as well. Top down there with them. Try to dodge these sniper shots if we can. We got all these guys shooting at us right now. So there's a little preview of this LMG. Honestly, I'm not too crazy about this one. I honestly think that that new rifle is really my favorite gun that they've added into the game with those frost vortex crystals. It just works really well for crowd control. Uh, but let me know, what is your favorite new weapon that they've added into the game? Leave a comment down below. I would love to see your thoughts there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely like and subscribe on the video. But anyway, take care, folks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.